Hi there. This is Clifford, the big red dog. This story is the story of Clifford. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. On Birdwell Island, the sun is always shining and there's always a new adventure on the horizon. That's because Emily Elizabeth and Clifford the big red dog live here. And when you are friends with the dog like Clifford, all your adventures are big. Emily Elizabeth and Clifford have been best friends ever since he was a puppy. Clifford used to be little, but then he grew and grew and grew. Now Clifford and Emily Elizabeth spent every day laughing, pretending and telling stories. Clifford and Emily Elizabeth always have so much fun together. That's because they are best friends. One morning, Clifford was feeling extra playful. Let's have a parade, Emily Elizabeth. Woof woof. He said, "A parade?" Emily Elizabeth asked, "What are we celebrating?" It just feels like a parade sort of day. Woof woof, said Clifford. Emily Elizabeth grinned. "That's a great idea. It'll be our very own Birdwell Island parade." Emily Elizabeth and Clifford got to work. They blew up balloons and painted a banner. Emily Elizabeth even helped Clifford make a parade leader hat. Just then, Emily Elizabeth's friend Sam stopped by. "Hi guys, what are you doing? We're having a parade!" Emily Elizabeth exclaimed. "Can I join too?" asked Sam. "Woof!" said Clifford. That meant, "Of course." It was time for the parade to start. Emily, Elizabeth and Sam got into place. Clifford led the wave. A uh, woof, 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 woof. With happy smiles and Clifford's bark keeping the beat off when the three person parade. The parade marched past the park. Emily, Elizabeth and Sam spotted their friends Jack and Pablo. They were playing fetch with Clifford's doggy pals, Bailey and Tucker. We are having a Birdwell Island parade. Emily and Elizabeth shouted to them, "Come join us!" Woo woo! A parade? Tucker barked to Clifford. Oh boy! Oh boy! You know I love parades. Woo woo! Woo woo! We are in. Woofed Bailey. Clifford led his friends past the docks and towards Mrs. Clayton and Birdwell Island Library post. How exciting! Mrs. Clayton said when she saw them, "You're having a Founders Day parade." It's not a Founders Day parade. Emily Elizabeth giggled. It's just for fun. But today is a day Birdwell Island was founded. Mrs. Clayton told them, "Your parade is right on time." Emily Elizabeth gasped. Clifford, our Birdwell Island parade just turned into a Birdwell Island birthday parade. The kids made a quick change to their banner. Then they marched on. They were ready to tell everyone they saw that today was Birdwell Island's birthday. When the parade reached the town square, Miss Ellerby stopped traffic so they could cross. Drivers waved and some even shouted, "Happy birthday, Birdwell Island!" Soon the friends arrived at Emily Elizabeth's parents' gift shop, the Seashell. "Hi, honey." Her mom and dad came over to greet them. What's all this? We're having a parade to celebrate Birdwell Island's birthday. Emily Elizabeth explained. Can we borrow an island flag? Of course, said Emily Elizabeth's dad. One Birdwell Island flag coming right up. With the flag in hand, Emily Elizabeth, Clifford, and their friends were ready to continue the fun. But as soon as they got outside, they stopped. They stared. They couldn't believe their eyes. A huge group of townspeople were outside holding their own balloons, banners, and confetti. It looked like the whole island had gathered to meet them. We heard you're having a Birdwell Island parade, Miss Lee said. To celebrate the island's founding, Fisherman Charlie added. And we want to join. A group of kids cheered. 
Emily, Elizabeth and Clifford grinned from ear to ear. Of course, she cried, a Birdwell Island birthday parade is even better when everyone on Birdwell Island joins in. And so, the parade marched on. People hurried from every house and shop owners scurried from every store. Everyone was joining the parade. Before long, the parade line stretched way, way back. But everyone was able to keep up. After all, it's easy to follow along when the parade leader is as big as Clifford the Big Red Dog. At the end of the parade, the whole island gathered in the town square. Everyone danced and played. It was a perfect ending to the perfect parade. Emily Elizabeth gave Clifford a great big hug. Thank you, she said. For what? Woof woof, Clifford asked. For just because, Emily Elizabeth told him, the parade was for Birdwell Island's birthday. But it won't be Birdwell Island without you. The end. Thanks for watching. For more exciting read aloud stories, please subscribe to our channel Little Hearts Super Kids. Also follow us on Instagram for amazing updates.